Okay, this is gonna be the psycho rant format of video, which means this isn't scripted, and I'm, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna talk. All right, so to start, mental health and gaming. So I think, as a theory, that many gamers are struggling with mental health issues. And the reason why I feel this is due to patterns I saw in my life that I will get to a little later in this rant. For now, I'm going to talk about what led me to start making Horizon Zero Dawn videos. So why I started making Horizon Zero Dawn videos was a multitude of reasons. Uh, one of the reasons was it seemed like a lot of the player base didn't fully mechanically understand the game. So when I went to Reddit or Discord to seek validation for the things I could do and what I knew, I would effectively get kind of like beaten down, which would then make me feel invalidated and make me feel like the majority of the player base was was doing what I did, which wasn't at all true. And I, I don't want people to think that I in any way think I know more than everyone else about Horizon or better than a bunch of like everyone else at Horizon. Like I know I'm not the best. I know I don't know the most. I just know that I know a lot and that I wanted to share with people rather than sit there and like lord over them and, and get into arguments. So part of it was teaching, part of it was to feel validated, and part of it was just general confusion about what, what people didn't know. So why I stopped making those types of videos and those types of guides was partly feedback from people on the videos. It was it was partly I wasn't getting the feedback I was hoping, and it wasn't necessarily that I wasn't getting the validation that I was hoping to get, because, you know, like, play the game however the hell you want to play it, right? Like, the way I play the game is just a play style. It doesn't make me any better or worse than anyone else who plays the game. It just means that I play the game a little differently and I will definitely say that I am decent at the game because after thousands of hours, like one should hope that they're good at something. So I, I stopped because wasn't getting the, the feedback responses that I kind of wanted. And it was just kind of taxing to spend my time making videos for a community that I wasn't really a fan of anymore after a multitude of things that that happened to me within the community getting banned from the discord um the forbidden west game in my opinion just not being very well made and being kind of out of touch compared to the first game and i feel like a lot of people who enjoy forbidden west enjoy it from a place of kind of sunk cost fallacy whereas they're really invested in the first one they want to continue to be invested in the second one and damn it it's going to be good no matter what because they they just love it and that's that's fine like like what you like play what you want to play that's totally fine I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't or that your opinion isn't valid because liking or disliking a video game is a subjective opinion, not an objective opinion. So while one could say that there is such a thing as a good or bad video game, this is all circumstantial based on who's playing it, how they feel, and the type of games that they've played in the, in the past. So there is technically no bad or good game on like an individual opinionated level from a monetary level you could say there is but yeah anyway moving on don't need to talk much more about that that is a whole rabbit hole i could do a whole video on so 
Next, I'm gonna get into kind of the, the patterns that I recognized through my history of gaming and my history with depression and mental illness. And it basically boils down to what I kind of realized was the worse I felt about my life, the more I would play video games to feel a sense of community that I wasn't getting or feel a sense of validation that I wasn't getting or just to feel important and worthy and, you know, humanized. Like, just to feel like I'm important or I'm smart or I'm good and... At the end of the day, none of that really matters as long as you are doing what you want to do with who you want to do it with, how you want to do it, and you're not harming other people during this process. That's that's all that really matters. And, and I also noticed a trend as I sort of started to, to come awake and heal that, as I stated earlier, there's, there's a lot of gamers I suspect that suffer from mental illness and there's nothing wrong with suffering from mental illness. I think more people do than admit and that's one of the reasons why I'm making this this video to say that like yeah I I have suffered from depression mental illness all my life. I'm a gamer. All you gamers that have suffered from depression and mental illness or have even like felt like shit. So just hidden a video game for a while. Like you're not alone. None of us are really alone with how we feel. It's just a lot of the times we're scared to articulate how we feel. So we don't and we just hide in whatever we wanna hide in, whether that be drugs, video games, drugs and video games, alcohol, alcohol and video, you know, pick your poison, right? Pick, pick your poison. So the, the more I play video games, it's generally the worse, the worse I'm feeling in my life. And I suspect that that's true for some of the people listening to this video and a lot of the people who are habitual 24 seven gamers right now. And I understand that gaming might be like the sole place of comfort for some people. And I don't know everyone's circumstance at, or, or what's holding them back or anything like that. So I'm not trying to tell people, if you stop gaming, you'll feel better. That's, that's not what I'm getting at or, or trying to say at all. I'm just trying to say that for me, from what I realized was the more I gamed, the more I spent time gaming, the like worse I would feel. But that's just me and my history. It doesn't apply to everyone. I suspect it applies to some. That's just me. I will also say that like I've been bullied and mocked and like made fun of and even jumped a few times in my life. And that has definitely had an influence on how much I'll play video games because I found at a very early age that I definitely have an aptitude for playing video games. Uh, I, I am good at games when try, effectively. I am not a quote unquote bad gamer. I'm, I'm usually fairly good at whatever game I play. Sometimes I've even been top world at games that I play. It's, it's just how much time, effort, and practice I want to put into the game. And in realizing this, it's very much the case that if you can be good at a video game, you can be good at things in real life as well. It's just not as fun to put in work, time, or practice for real life things as it is to play a video game and put in work, time, and practice while doing something you enjoy. It's <laughs> it's completely different, but definitely the, the more I was abused, the worse I felt, the more I would hide in games. And this is not like, or for me at least, this was not a healthy cycle. So being abused, gaming, 
makes me sink down lower. And then a lot of the times, the communities and people that I ran into while trying to hide from abuse in video games were abusive. Because the types of people that want to bring you in when you're suffering from abuse aren't always doing so with good intentions. Um, if, if you know me, you know that I'm real big on like narcissism and narcissism awareness nowadays because I had a large string of narcissists that had a huge like negative impact on my life. And I blamed them for a while for why I was feeling low. And that, that's not good. Um, and, and that's not to say that somebody who's abusing you isn't partially responsible for, for you feeling low or down. I mean, complex post-traumatic stress disorder is created when somebody is suffering, my dog is being funny, suffering uh, <coughs> constant abuse. Yeah, see, she, she going crazy. But CPTSD happens when somebody has suffered a chain of abuse. So PTSD is usually a singular instance of abuse or, or, or trauma you will have PTSD from. CPTSD is like a year of constant abuse. So most soldiers, most people from abusive relationships don't suffer from just regular post-traumatic stress disorder. They suffer from complex post-traumatic stress disorder. And that's not trying to minimize anyone's trauma because trauma is trauma. It, it, there, there is no like comparing who has the worst trauma. That, that is not the right way to go about it. Trauma is trauma. Doesn't matter, period. If you have experienced trauma, it has impacted you in the same way as other people who have experienced trauma, no matter what happened. So moving on to be like a little, a little more lighthearted and kind of wrap up the, the rant and video a little bit. So changes that, that I made to make myself feel better and historically pattern wise have made me game less was one, I, I go about a day and I ask myself, she's just, she's just like rolling on her back playing my dog. Yeah, you are so silly, Hailey. Just Just give me a little bit, okay? So, Going through your day and asking yourself when you go, like, when you go to do something and you're questioning it, like, should, should I play this extra round of whatever game I'm playing? Should I buy this thing? Should I speak this way to someone? Should I do this? Should I do that? Think about, will this make me feel guilty later? Because when you do things that make you feel guilty, you live with that guilt for a day, for a week, for a while. And if you can go through your day feeling less guilt about the actions you have done within that day, you will feel better at the end of the day. So I, I will say the first thing to make changes, if you need to, obviously this video isn't for everyone, uh, but if, if you want to make changes to make yourself feel better, Asking yourself if you feel guilty about doing something before you do it is gonna help. It helped me, and I think probably will help a bunch of other people too if they try it. Um, another thing is the obvious, uh, try to get more exercise. I, I don't know the physical limitations of, of everyone. Um, there is an exercise for everyone, no matter the physical limitations. And even if that exercise is, you know, maybe just some deep breathing and just bringing yourself to center and living in the moment, that is still a healthy exercise. It's not necessarily a heart rate exercise, but that's okay because healthy exercises will help get you to a better place if you feel like you need it. So am I being guilty? Exercise, getting outside is another good thing. You know, 
go see people, go get sunlight. Vitamin D does wonders for, for our happiness, for how, how well we're feeling. And the last thing that I would say is find humans or creatures <laughs> like cat, dog, like no man is an island. It's, it's a very famous John Donne poem, but it's true. We all need someone. Nobody needs no one. And if they do, they're sociopath, psychopath. That's not your everyday person. Everyone needs someone. Find people who want to be around you because you are you. Not because they need you for something or want to use you for something. No, no, no. Find people who like you for you. And I think I'm gonna wrap up this little rant on that. This is kind of a completely different video than I've done before. And if you've made it the whole way through, I appreciate you. Thank you. This is the type of video that I kind of like making because it's, it's fun to make people better at playing a game they want to get better at. But at the end of the day, that's just effectively helping people experience their coping mechanism a little better and not necessarily helping people. And that's what I want to do in life, is I, I want to help people. So, if this has helped you in any way, drop a comment. I hope you guys all have, and girls, I hope you people, yeah, I'm saying you people, you people, because all people are people. So anyway, have a good day, guys. If you feel like you need to say something, drop a comment. If you want to say something negative, I'll probably delete it. This is a no toxicity zone. Let's let's try to not be toxic. All right. Take care everyone.